hi guys welcome back to the channel for another video set today with me is this so this is a stereo live mic from sony and it's called ecmlv1 so when it comes to making good content not just the video quality but also the audio quality plays an important factor for getting more audience engagement and views so if you are new to making videos just like me for youtube instagram or any other social media platform then this video is definitely going to help you so keep watching the video till the end so in this video i'll be doing the unboxing of this mic and tell you in details about its compatibility pros and cons and if it's worth buying at this price point and yeah before going into details if you are new to this channel do subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified every single time i upload a new video to this channel and if this video is helpful for you then do like share and comment on this video this will definitely help me a lot so without wasting any further time let's now get started so before unboxing this mic uh, let me just talk about its pricing so i got it online from amazon and it costed me around 1899 rupees so one rupee less than 1900 rupees and the link to buying this product will be given in the description below if anybody of you wants to buy then you can go through the link and get it for yourself so yeah in the box it's written 2090 but i got it for rupees 1899 so little bit of discount is going on in online store. you can also get it from flipkart obviously the same price i guess so before opening the box let me tell you more about the box itself and yeah obviously stereo leveler microphone is written ecm lv1 uh, leveling is done here or branding is done then there is the mic itself obviously some more stickering is done via amazon so to this side in the box obviously it's written that it's a compatible with cameras voice recorders and also laptop then obviously it's a stereo mic so left mic so you can put it in color like this and again the cable length of this mic is one meter or three feet long and again it's a plug-in power uh, mic so you don't need any additional cell or battery to run it like any other lab mic that you have seen there you have to use a uh, battery so yeah let's now open the box and see the box contents so it's open up like this very simple uh, cardboard box and yeah obviously lots of paperwork is there for like description of the mic its compatibility and all those sorts of things uh, one more paperwork is there from like sony in the various sorts of languages so obviously warranty purpose and all those sorts of stuff so i believe the warranty period for this is around six months but if you use it nicely then obviously it will last longer than that this doesn't have any cell so it will have better reliability than other sorts of mics found uh, in online or market now yeah coming into the mic itself there is a pouch there is no other pouch to like store the mic like you have seen with other uh mic brands like moano is there boya is there but those mics are not really very of great quality and obviously some are very clumsy i will come to that in a uh, bit so yeah obviously you have the mic here and as it's a uh, stereo mic so stereo is written there are two mics there is a left side mic here right side mic here and obviously there is a clip here and it's obviously made of plastic and it can be rotated like this uh, and yeah obviously there is a uh, clip so you can clip it like this like currently i've used this mic so you can clip it like this to your shirt or your pocket and obviously the cable length is yeah three feet or one meter long so not very long it won't be very clumsy so for motor vlogging guys this will be i think good but you get only a foam windscreen there is no like uh, far type windscreen so you have to put it like this for better wind uh, noise reduction so and coming to other thing the cable quality is of decent quality it's obviously made of some nylon type material not braided braided could have been given at this price point then when it comes to the connectivity option so this is a 3.5 mm trs mic so there is a tip there is a ring in the middle then there is a sleeve so trs mic so when it comes to completely compatibility sorry 
it will be compatible with most of the cameras that you have like GoPro or any other DSLR mirrorless cameras and even with your laptops and even with some sound recorders yeah it will be compatible but unfortunately if you are using mobile phone then you cannot directly use this mic you have to use a adapter that is from like TRS to TRRS adapter you will find it online obviously for around 100 rupees in Amazon or Flipkart so before buying this mic I got myself some other mics when I started making videos for YouTube one of my first buy was the Boya BY M1 lav mic and it uh, like has to you have to put a uh, cell here so this is the mic here it get a nice like uh, leather type pouch you don't get with sony even after spending 1800 rupees but yeah uh, we, this costed me around 700 rupees and this is how like there is a pouch and this is the mic here look how long it is it is like around five meter and it becomes very clumsy and obviously you have to put a cell here and it works directly with smartphone and camera that was the reason i got it but yeah it turned out to be useless because it's so long so clumsy uh, most of my contents got like uh, very bad audio quality because it kind of like uh, disturbs the sound quality by shaking the uh, mic adapter of my camera and yeah like this you have to open it and put a cell here and the cell only lasts for like around one and a half months or two months if you can use it regularly then I got the uh, Moano mic and the Moano mic was this one so this mic is also not very like uh, compatible with my camera there is a adapter here but again the adapter makes my setup very clumsy it becomes very long so the camera I'm talking about is my Insta360 1R cam so this is my action camera I took most of my videos with this cam Right now I am shooting with my Galaxy S20 FE smartphone cam and I am using Extreme Acoustic Mic and Moano Mic to give you the difference in sound quality so this is the Extreme Acoustic wireless mic I have connected my uh, Moano Mic and you can see how long the adapter gets like this and when you connect this adapter to the Insta360 one r mic like this mic adapter this is the Insta360 mic and again you connect one more adapter and if you put it you put your phone sorry the camera to your helmet while motor vlogging they are very clumsy and uh, most of the time the roads are not very good and there is lots of like bumps so the ride is not very great and the audio quality just gets ruined and even with the Boya mic same you cannot like put a uh, ball of wire cable hanging to your uh, helmet so yeah that's the reason I got this Sony mic and now I can just like put in the mic adapter then plug in the Sony mic and hopefully this will start working I can put this uh, mic like inside my helmet and also I can like do regular vlogging with it and if I turn on the camera then I guess it will be start work uh, showing the mic yeah currently it's showing and it's picking up the signal I can see it in the screen right here hopefully my smartphone camera is not able to cover the screen because the screen on the Insta360 one is very small and it's a fantastic camera at this price point modular cam obviously the link to this camera will also be given in the description below but now it has been updated to Insta One RS so let's not talk about the camera but log about the mic so let me just put the mic with my Insta360 one R cam and show you a sample from this uh, camera I'll plug it into my tripod here and again right now I am like uh, this still this part the audio is coming from my smartphone that is a in Samsung S20 FE and yeah obviously I'm using extreme acoustic uh, wireless mic along with uh, the Moano mic so yeah let's now plug in the Sony mic and show you the how the sound quality is so right now i am shooting with my insta 360 one r action cam and i am using the sony ecm lv1 stereo live mic for the sound input and for your convenience in the post production i won't be doing any editing to the audio part of this video and also i have turned off the inbuilt camera noise reduction 
so that you can see how the raw sound quality of this mic is when i use it with my insta 360 one cam because most of the time i will be using this setup for my vlogs but few moments back i was using my smartphone and with that i was using extreme acoustic wireless mic so this is this setup here and yeah this is the receiver part of the extreme acoustic wireless mic 3.5 mm connector comes out like this then again i have to connect it to a 3.5 mm to type c adapter because my s20 fe vendor which is a smartphone uh, flexi smartphone actually doesn't get a 3.5 mm headphone jack sadly like most of the smartphones like flexi phones doesn't get 3.5 mm headphone jack sadly but this is what it is so that was uh, the receiver part for my smartphone then for the like uh, transmitter part or the mic part this is the extreme acoustic wireless uh, transmitter and it gets the mic here and since the mic in the extreme acoustic uh, doesn't have any uh, windscreen protection for noise reduction i have to use the mono mic as i didn't have any other option now uh, also you can see how clumsy it is and with this i can use a far type windscreen so this is much better in reducing noise so for also my motor vlogging setup i will be making another video with this sony mic with the insta 360 and check how the sound quality is when i'm riding my scooter bike another video will be coming out with this mic for my motor vlogging setup is it good is it bad i have i wasted my money so that will be there now talking few more other things about this mic is that even though it costed me two times more than the mono and the boya mic i didn't get any storage pouch even with my uh, 500 rupees mono mic i got this cloth type storage pouch with my uh, boya bym1 mic i got this leather type storage pouch uh, and look at the size of the uh, boya bym1 mic so clumsy so long cable so that's the reason i got this now uh, the sony mic now talking about other mics uh, that you can buy is that there is a Rode Go uh, professional lav mic but that will cost you around 6000 rupees and for beginners I don't think that's worth it because if you are a beginner like me don't just go for the costliest product because you don't know how to talk in front of camera and you don't know how to present your videos so you will be wasting your money and also time and you won't be getting a very good audience uh, like retainment into your videos and also don't go for the cheapest of the product like i wasted my time on uh, the mono mic and also money on my uh, boya by m1 mic those mics i won't be using it anymore the wireless acoustic uh, extreme acoustic mic is good enough if you use a good uh, like uh, left mic now i'll be using the sony mic with that so i think the sound quality will be much better now uh, than before and again so that was my suggestion for like new guys don't just go for the costliest product and also don't settle for like the cheapest product settle in something between like this sony mic and then you will be uh, like uh, not wasting your money and also time and uh, can directly focus on making good contents as a beginner so now let me just uh, go to my smartphone setup and now i will connect this sony mic to the extreme acoustic wireless mic and then i will record it via smartphone and you can see how the sound quality is with the sony mic with the extreme acoustic mic so let's just do that so again back into my smartphone recording setup and right now i am like recording with this sony ecm lv1 mic connected to the uh, extreme acoustic wireless mic uh, and for your convenience the dv game is at like two second level at uh, the boya mic that dv game was at third level uh, because i think this mic will be much better picking up sound compared to the moano mic and obviously the talking about the moano mic and boya mic and this sony mic this costed like two times more than those two mics but even then the build quality is i don't think is not that great considering the price the cable quality here and also my boya mic and also this moano mic the cable quality same from the exterior interior i think a much better like proper quality material for the wiring is given i don't know that but yeah once i use it i will know so that was everything about the sony ecm lv1 stereo mic unboxing and some of its details uh, i hope the video is helpful for you and if it was then do like share and comment in this video and also if you are new to this channel 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified every single time I upload a new video to this channel. So that's it for today. Bye.